2016 question 5, the length of the sides of a right angle triangle are given by the expressions x minus 1, 4x and 5x minus 9 as shown in the diagram. Find the value of x. Now in this right angle triangle, the 5x minus 9 is the hypotenuse because it's up at the right, right angle. So using Pythagoras theorem, 5x minus 9 to be squared is going to equal x minus 1 to be squared uh, plus 4x squared. So if we square out the left hand side, this will give 25x squared minus 90x plus 81 and this will equal x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus 16x squared. Now if we bring everything to one side, x squared and 16 add to 17, when you bring it over and subtract on the left you're going to get 8x squared, bring in the minus 2x over becomes a plus 2x and you'll get minus 88x and bring in the plus 1 over becomes a minus 1 and a plus 80 then will equal 0. Next of all we can divide everything by 8 and you get x squared minus 11x plus 10 equals 0. The factors of 10 then we can use are 1 and 10 and they both need to be minus so x would equal 10 or x equals 1. Now if x was 1 here you'd have uh, 5 minus 9 which is a minus 4 which you cannot have a negative length so the only value of x is x equals 10. Or to then verify that this value of x, that the lengths of the sides of the triangle do form a Pythagorean triple. So if x is 10, and this would be 10 minus 1, this side would be 9, this side would be 40, and this side would be 50 minus 9, which is 41. So we want to show that Pythagoras theorem works with these numbers. So 41 squared should equal 40 squared plus 9 squared. And 41 squared is uh, 1681, and that equals 40 squared is 1600 plus uh, 81. And you can see 1681 does equal 1681. E part 1 then, show that f of x equals 3x minus 2, where x an element or is an injective function. So here the function f of x is 3x minus 2. And if we just evaluate this function at um, maybe x equals a, so f of a would just equal 3a minus 2. f of b, we can evaluate the function at um, x equals b. So f of b then would be 3b minus 2. Now, injective means that if f of a equals f of b, this means that a must equal b. Okay? So if f of a equals f of b, this means that a must equal b. So if we equate f of a and f of b, you get 3a minus 2 equals 3b minus 2. Minus 2's cancel on both sides, and 3a equals 3b, and the 3's cancel, and then you do get a equals b. So because we've got a equals b, that does prove that the function f is injective. Next of all, given that f of x is 3x minus 2, where x is an element of the reals, find a formula for f inverse, the inverse of the function f, and we have to show your work. So here, the function f our f of x is 3x minus 2. Now we can just let y equals 3x minus 2. And if we want to find an inverse function, what we're going to do is we're going to swap the x and the y values. So that means we're going to get x equals 3y minus 2. So we just replace this y with an x and replace this x with a y. And then we're going to try and get y in its own. If you bring the minus 2 over, you get x plus 2 equals 3y. And then if you want to get y in its own, y is going to equal 3x plus or x plus 2 all over 3. So that's your inverse function. f inverse would be x plus 2 all over 3. Now you can see this function f. The first thing that this function f does is it multiplies by 3 and then it subtracts 2. f inverse does the opposite. The opposite of a minus 2 is that it adds 2 and then the opposite of multiply by 3 it divides by 3.